What's up guys, my name is Techno, we're here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be showing you how to mass produce pictures using Photoshop and a comma separated sheet which is basically an Excel sheet that I've got in front of me right here. So this is what we'll be taking and putting into the lower thirds that I've created here. If we have a look, it's just a square and we'll be putting the name over there and the occupation just below it so that this can pop in and out of my screen and we want each of these for each separate person here on this list. So to begin, you'll actually need to make your spreadsheet. You can do this in Excel, in Google Sheets, just as long as you end up with a .csv file, which is rows vertically and columns horizontally. So name, comma, occupation, name, comma, occupation, and it's just separated like that. You can even go ahead and make this file yourself if you wish. Just remember it's one column, comma, the next column, comma, etc., etc. So we'll be making sure that the name and occupation of each one of these people is put into the lower thirds over here, and we'll export them separately as separate PNGs to use in something like Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and open up Photoshop and we'll name it lower thirds. So into here, I'm going to add my background and then we'll go ahead and grab ourselves the text tool. Click down here. That's way too big. Just as a placeholder, let's make it white and position it better. The subtext, which will be their occupation. So we'll type occupation. This is not aligned correctly, so we'll go ahead and do that. Get a bit smaller and we'll do it for this one as well and we'll place them nicely. Now that we've got them in here, we just need to remember what we have them named as on the right hand side. Once you got them named as something you'll recognize, we'll highlight name or doesn't really matter. We'll go to image in the top left, variables and define. In here we'll be making sure to have our first one selected, text replacement, and we need to find what the column is called. So it is this, the name. If we have a look at Google Sheets, it's name, and the one next to it is occupation. It's the same in the .csv. So we'll make sure to copy this and paste it in here. So things under the name column will be dynamically placed in here. And we can go ahead and click the button over here, select occupation or the second bit of text you want, and we'll be copy pasting it once again, but we'll be copy pasting this which is the second column. After we've done both of them, you can hit next, data set. We'll make sure to hit import, select file, navigate to the folder. In the bottom right, make sure to click .txt and set that to CSV. Click the CSV you'd like to load and hit load and hit OK. And you'll see that something pops up here, which means that it's now working. This is the first row here, Jamie S mechanic. So we can hit OK and you'll notice that nothing has changed. But if we go to File, Export, Data Sets as Files, and we select a folder, we'll just name it Output. And before you continue, it's very useful to set this to either numbers or set numbers as when you're using them in something like Premiere Pro. It's a lot easier to have a numbered thing going from the beginning to the end rather than just a bunch of names. So we'll leave it as the second one, set number. You can set this to whatever you'd like. You can, of course, change the rest of the settings here, but I'm going to leave them as is as .psds. Hit OK, and you'll see that it'll freeze up a little bit and it won't tell you that anything has happened. But if we have a look in the folder, output, you can see a bunch of PSDs are out here. If we go ahead and open one, we can see Jamie S, mechanic, which is the first person on the list over here. We'll open up the third one. Nikki J, engineering manager. You can have a look at the CSV. And there it is as the third one. So you can do this as many times as you like with as many rows and columns as you wish. There's absolutely no limit to what you use it for. You can either join me in using it for something like title cards, lower thirds, or anything like that. If you have a pre-made thing that you'd rather not type a bunch of them into, you can just use a .csv file and export a bunch of them to use in Premiere Pro or anything else for that matter. So if this helped you guys a lot, make sure to like the video and comment down below if you'd like me to cover anything next. Thank you all for watching, my name is Techno Nobo, here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.